magically changed into a knight. And it starts to cry. <laughs> See it crying? It just starts to bend like that. Two, three. Did so you warp the fork? Uh, uh, I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm here in my hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm showing you 10 magic tricks with silverware. Excuse me, I need a spoon. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. You're at Guy Fieri's Smokehouse in Louisville. I'm going to show you a cool trick you can do with just a fork. You can take your fork, it's a perfect dinner table trick. You're going to take a napkin. It's the only other thing you need is a napkin. You line the napkin out of the table just like this. We're gonna take the fork, set it in the napkin, and we're gonna roll it up. Now, we're gonna roll it up. Say, so watch, I'm gonna give it a magical wave. It's done. It's under the fork. It's magically changed. Quick and easy, and I'll teach you how it's done. Right now. Okay, this is a classic silverware trick. It's the fork and knife switch. So all you need to do this is a knife and fork and a napkin. Works best with a cloth napkin, the thicker the better. So this is a great trick to do at like a nice restaurant. Start out with your knife right there inside the napkin. Fold the napkin over just like that. That is your setup for the trick. Now you're gonna present the fork, place it on the napkin, and you're gonna roll it up inside the napkin. And the knife is gonna come with, just like that. Roll it up. Now you're in position to do the reveal. You're gonna split the napkin right here. Two little corners right here. You're gonna grab each of those. And as you pull them apart, it's automatically gonna place the fork underneath like that. Best to do this on a table with a tablecloth on it or some type of surface to hear the clank of the fork. And then it's automatically gonna reveal the knife on top. As you can see, this is why it's important to do it with a thick napkin like a thick dinner table napkin because you can see the other piece of silverware through a thin napkin or a paper napkin so you unfold it boom the switch has happened you're careful not to expose the fork underneath and it looks like the fork has magically changed into a knife super easy and pretty much self-working magic trick that you can do at home right now okay this is a cool magic trick that you can do with a borrowed spoon Take a look. This is a cool one. This is the crying spoon trick. So this is the saddest spoon in the entire world, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but first, I want you to check it out, make sure there's nothing, no gimmicks, no kind of trickery going on, anything like that. It's a normal spoon, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, we have to come up with something to say to the spoon to make it sad. So what do you think we could say to the spoon <laughs> to make it sad? Maybe that- You're mean. Spoon, you're mean. No, no, let's not do that. Let's do, um... Let's tell it that all its friends left? No. Without it? Yeah. Okay. Here, come here, you gotta watch this part. This is the cool part. You ready? Mm -hmm. Spoon, we're sorry, but all your friends left without you. <laughs> See it crying? Uh -huh. The saddest spoon ever. Go check it out. That spoon trick works? No, I don't like to try it's like good. Okay. What do you guys think? How do you think it works? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you thought this trick works. We're gonna reveal the secret in just a second, but I wanna know how you think it works. So take a guess. Give me your best guess in the comment section. Ava, okay, how do know. you think it works? Uh, I think like there's this little button that I don't know where it is. Somewhere up here. Uh-huh. I'll tell you this, it's a normal spoon because you guys can do it at home with a spoon at your house, so there's nothing special about the spoon. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I will teach you how it's done right, right now. now. This is all you need, is a little balled up piece of uh, paper towel. So we get a little piece of paper towel from the kitchen. It's gonna wad that up and get it wet. And then you're gonna conceal this in your hand. And this is the position you wanna hold it in, right behind the top of the spoon handle, right there, sealed by your two fingers. So you're holding the spoon like this, and all you have to do is apply pressure with your thumb, and you'll force the water out of the paper towel. It'll drip down the back of the spoon, and drip off the end, and it'll look like the spoon is crying. Simple, right? Mm -hmm. And that is how you do the magic crying spoon trick. If you've ever seen someone magically bend a spoon with their mind, and wanted to perform it yourself, 
Stay tuned for this next one. This is the magic spoon bend trick. Quick and easy spoon bend trick that you can do at home when you're out of the restaurant. You take a spoon from your audience, say watch, if I just hold it like this and rub, you can kind of see it happen. Look, it just starts to bend like that in the middle. See it? Look, if you keep rubbing, that people will totally freak out. It's bent right before their eyes and I'll teach you the secret of how to do that right now. So really all you need for this is the knowledge of the secret move that I'm gonna teach you. And you need some silverware that people are not gonna get mad if it gets bent. Maybe go get a cheap set of silverware from a store. That way no one's gonna get super angry when you bend their spoons over and over. So this is the move. Your finger is gonna go right here on the back of the spoon and then the bottom of the spoon is gonna contact this part of your hand. Thumb's gonna go right here on the front of the spoon and that's how you're bending. This finger right here is the one that's really doing the bending. And your thumb's just pushing right over. It's happening very quickly in this motion right here when I'm grabbing the spoon. And also I have to point out that you're bending it at its weakest point. You can see the spoon tapers down so that it's very thin right here in the middle. So it's right there that we're bending. So in slow motion, as I'm turning my hand like this, I'm bending it up just like that and rubbing. The whole rubbing thing is just a bit of acting. Make it look like the spoon is bending. It's bent before you even start rubbing. So it's straight moving into this position to start rubbing, and it's already bent. Practice the move in the mirror until you get it right, and then have some fun amazing your friends. And that is how you do the magic bending spoon trick. This is a fun little classic magic trick that you can turn into a magic challenge against your friends. This is the spoon on the nose trick. Everyone can do this trick. Okay, watch, I'm gonna take this spoon, put it right here on my nose, and look. Ready? Watch. Is that cool? You wanna yeah. try? So you can make the spoon stick to your nose. Kinda looks like it's just floating in midair, and then you can challenge your friends to do it and watch them take a ride on the struggle bus. The magic secret to make this a lot easier is before you put the spoon on your nose, just give it a nice hot breath and it'll create some condensation, which will make the spoon a little bit sticky so that it easily sticks right to your nose. Boom. <laughs> you had it. Aww. And that is how you do the magic spoon on the nose trick. For this trick, you're gonna take a fork and really freak some people out. Let's take a look. So I'm actually gonna have to lift up my glasses for this one. So I'm gonna take the fork and it's gonna go right here. What do you mean? Watch. Ah. Okay, here is the secret behind this crazy trick. So here is the secret thing that you need for this trick. This is a coffee creamer. You can get these at a coffee house or you can get them at a store. Find them at most gas stations too. Really any restaurant out there is gonna have these on hand. So what you do is you take this and you're gonna conceal it in your hand like that. And it's very important that the top foil side is facing out so that when you hold it up to your face, the fork can come up, poke the foil, and release the eye gook, which is actually coffee creamer. So as the fork comes up, it pokes through the lid of the coffee creamer, just like that, punctures the top, and creates a hole for the liquid to come right out of. Everyone's gonna freak out thinking you just punctured your eyes, this white liquid coming out. And I have to give credit for this original concept to Matt King. He's the person who pioneered this trick. And that's where I first saw it on TV as a kid. And that is how you do the magic fork in the eye trick. Now you've obviously seen a fork bend right here, but what if you could take it a step further and make one of the tines of the fork magically bend by itself? Let's check it out. You're gonna take a fork and you're gonna call attention to the tines of the fork. The little prongs are actually called tines. So you're gonna take one of the tines on the fork and you're gonna call attention to the fact that they're all straight and while you could probably bend like the middle of a fork or a spoon with your hands, it would be really, really difficult to bend one of these. So that's why you have to use the power of your mind. So we're gonna hold the fork just like this and then tell everyone to watch. like that. And you can do it on the other side as well. Just like that. So you can use the technique to make the prongs bend on each side of it like that. And you can keep going until the fork looks like this crazy abstract design right here. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, here's the secret move behind this amazing trick. Believe it or not, you can pretty easily bend the tines of these forks with your bare hands. So you're gonna show it like normal and you're gonna grab the edge of the fork with the edge of your thumb. 
right there. And that's how you're gonna bend it down. You wanna practice this first, obviously, to make sure you can bend it. It does require quite a bit of hand strength, so if you're really young, you might not be able to do this one yet, because you do have to have quite a bit of strength in your hands in order to bend it quickly. Now, I actually did that move right in front of your face when we started this trick. So when I grabbed the fork and moved it into a different position, I was actually bending the tine there as I was turning it over that I was doing it. And then you're just letting it drape across your hand. The tine is already bent. You're just letting it slowly fall and it looks like it's bending. Now you can use that same move to do the other side, bend down just like that, until you've warped the fork into this crazy twisted metal. You can hand out to your audience and their mind is gonna be completely blown examining this thing. And that is how you do the magic melting fork trick. Okay, for this amazing trick, I'm gonna show you a cool way to make it look like you're moving silverware with the power of your mind. Let's take a look. So you're gonna take a fork or a spoon and sit it down on the table just like that. Call attention to it and say watch. I'm going to try to move the fork with the power of my mind. Look. like that. You can hand this out for inspection. There's no strings or wires attached to it. Another way you can do this is to set the fork on its face and say watch. Okay, the secret behind this is super cool and super dangerous, so we need to keep it far away from the camera. This is a super magnet, super strong, rare earth magnet. It can ruin electronics from like feet away, so I want to keep it away from the camera. The magnetic field on it is huge. I'm having a hard time keeping the fork from attracting to it right here. You can see the fork wants to bend before it'll actually come off of it. So it's super strong and what we do with this is we can have it conceal in our pant leg, like right above our knee. And then you can manipulate objects with the magnet underneath the table just using your knee. So that way you can have both hands above the table while it's moving. And that is how you do the magic moving fork trick. All right, this is a classic silverware trick that you can do with just a spoon or a fork. Let's take a look. So you're gonna take a fork right here. You can also do this with a spoon. You're gonna grasp it by the top firmly. So you have the top of the fork here and watch. You're just gonna push down and bend it all the way in half, just like that. So you got it completely bent, and then watch. On the count of three, one, two, three, you just magically heal it. You can hand this out for inspection. Super amazing fork bend trick that you can perform at a moment's notice. Okay, here's the secret behind this amazing fork trick. All you need is a quarter or a nickel, some type of silver coinage that you're gonna use to look like the top of the fork. So from a backside view, this is what you're actually holding. You're holding the coin here that looks like the top of the fork and the actual straight part of the fork coming out the back of your hand. So you start in this position up here, and then as you press down, that fork is going right out of the back of your hand and never actually bends. And then when you wanna reveal that it's restored, boom. Just let it drop out of your fingers, hide the coin in your palm, ditch it into your pocket, and then you're left with a completely restored metal fork that never actually bent in the first place. And that is how you do the magic coin and the fork trick. Okay, this is a crazy trick that you can do with a ring and a fork. Take a look. Okay, this is a cool one with a fork and a ring. So I'm gonna have you hold the fork just like that and hold it on the top. They're tight, so there's no way I could like, but take this ring, try and make it link onto the fork. Okay, you ready? Watch. Yeah. Let's take it like this. And I rub the metal. Look. You can almost see it happen. Okay, here's the secret behind this crazy magic trick. So this is a special type of ring. It's called a Himber ring. Classic magic trick. These can be used for a lot of different things. The special thing about this magic ring is that it opens and it has a hinge. So you're able to make it link onto the fork by just opening up the ring and it latches back just like that. So you open it up secretly. Your spectator's holding the fork like this or the spoon. There's no way you can get to it. You just secretly link it on there and close up the ring. 
and the work is done. Looks like the ring is just magically passed through the fork. So that is the secret. As they're holding it here, you're just gonna slip the himber ring right around it and pop it together. Then you can do a fair bit of acting and act like you're rubbing the metal through metal. And that is the secret behind the magic ring on the fork trick. Okay, this is a trick with a plastic spoon. Check it out. Hold it just like this and watch. Here's the secret. Blowtorch. This is like a fun camera trick or you could have somebody like hiding behind the corner of a house. You're gonna take the flame of the blowtorch and it's actually going to melt the plastic spoon. Just the tip of that flame is enough to get this super hot where that plastic is gonna melt like butter. And as long as this is out of the field of their view, it is a super crazy looking trick that is absolutely gonna blow people's minds. This kind of goes without saying, but I just wanna point it out. Obviously, if you're using a blowtorch, you need adult supervision. Don't go get a blowtorch and use it if you're a kid like by yourself. That's not safe, but they are fun. And that is how you do the magic melting spoon trick. Okay, here's the secret behind this magic spoon trick. This is available in our shop right now. We ship these worldwide. Magic spoon bend trick. It's got a little piece of rubber tubing right here that joins the two halves of your spoon together, just like that. Then when you bend this up, just hold it right here between your fingers. It looks like the spoon is straight out. And then when you let pressure off of it, that tubing folds back into its original shape and it makes it look like the spoon just magically bends. It also comes with a second spoon, a real one that's actually bent into that shape that you can switch at the end and hand out to your spectators. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to get a magic bending spoon. Go get one now before we sell out. We do have a limited supply of these. We're shipping worldwide. There's a bunch of other cool magic tricks in the shop too, so go check that out, evanarytv.com and get some cool magic gear to help you blow some minds. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away five of of our magic bending spoons from the shop the five lucky comments in the comment section below all you have to do to win one is give this video a thumbs up leave a funny random comment in the comment section on this video you can leave as many comments as you want unlimited comments the more comments you leave the better your chances of winning I'll be picking five random comments from the comment section that will mail you your very own bending spoon so that you can do the trick at home so be sure to give the video a thumbs up share it on your Facebook or Twitter text or email it to a friend you know what to do and if you happen to have already bought a magic bending spoon from the shop you will have your free pick of any other other item from the shop that you want shipped to you for free. All right, guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing, and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Real quick, if you've got a Snapchat account, you can add me on Snapchat with this snap code right here. And my username is Evan Rosenman. Go add me on Snapchat. I post cool stuff daily. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Alright guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We just surpassed a million subscribers on Evanera TV. If you haven't seen our celebration video, I'll link it right there. And until next time, thank you for coming back to the channel where anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.